good morning all friends now we are continuing this chapter with the new topic according to our blueprint now here the topic given already here about the revolutionaries we uh, in hindi we say krantikari so you knew very well about that now after the fall of napoleon bonaparte during 1815 a new conservative regime system applied by the old traditions people in all over the europe so to fight struggle for their rights the common people what we say the local people of the europe now they wanted to uh, fight against the conservative system or regime okay so in all over the europe how the people they established secret societies they managed weapons and other things here now i am focusing on that topic here so after the establishment of uh, vienna congress these people they fight for return here they fight for liberty these people fight for liberty and they fight for freedom also most of these revolutionaries they also demanded for creation of a new state creation of a new state and they also struggle for freedom in some parts of the europe different different types of people maybe from any level in any category they fight for freedom now here now i am focusing here about this figure that is uh, gsp majini very very important person of that period gsp majini where he born in which year that completely scenario given here now i am focusing my topic on gsp majini how you remember the alphabet so g i u s e double p e 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight alphabet here or i think seven here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here so you remember this the alphabetic how you re- remember here g o s p majeni was an italian revolutionary krantikari or revolutionary from italy okay he was born in 1807 he was born in 1807 and especially in the city of genoa so born in genoa in 1807 in early age he was a member of the secret society of carbonari written here he in early age he was a member of secret society carbonari when he became a young person when he became a young person he was sent into exile why because of he participated in one revolution that they attempted in liguria they attempted that revolution in liguria and that revolution failed due to that he ran away from that liguria in 1831 in 1831 now subsequently by uh, getting knowledge he established two secret society in europe so you can see here young italy first of all he established young italy in marseilles and after that he established young europe in bern that is given here in bern so slowly steadily he grew his members of secret society and they spread in all over the europe so their young members they scattered in all over europe you can see here poland france italy and germany states now the one very important question given here what was mezini believed about a new nation state what was his intention that is given here one more question here mezini gsp mezini believed that 
गुड हैड इंटेंटेड नेशन टू बी द नेचुरल यूनिट्स ऑफ मैन काइंड इट मीन्स ही ही बिलीव इन दैट गुड गिव अस ब्लेसिंग गुड गिव अस ब्लेसिंग दैट नाउ आई विल क्रिएट ए नेशन स्टेट फॉर यू फॉर यू एंड योर नेशन पीपल हियर so that is the very very useful for mankind that is the very useful for mankind so he, i repeat the imagine uh, uh, words god had intended nation to be the natural units of mankind natural means immortal units of mankind so italy could not be continue to be a patchwork of small states so according to imagine italy now become a will become a very very big nation in future so we we conclude this part of the tally in a one nation now listen here so he stressed on unified italy so relentless written here relentless he opposed the monarchy system he opposed the monarchy system and his vision focus on a democratic republic democratic republic nation state so these conservatives of europe they frightened from the mezzini they frightened from the mezzini that's why that's why austrian chancellor dup metternich describe him he means gsp mezzini you can see here the most dangerous enemy of our social order the most dangerous enemy of our social order that is written here so who said austrian chancellor dup metternich said to whom for whom that is for gsp mezzini what said that is given here the most dangerous enemy of our social order so that was the complete scenario of who was gsp mezzini one mark question so i gave here your answer now we focus on our new topic that is very very important topic here you can see here july revolution our new topic two mark question here july revolution july revolution 1830 July Revolution 1830 that took place in France after the completion of First Revolution. You know, First Revolution took place in France 14 July 1789. I told you many times that in France the month of July very very important for the people of the France. So you you can see here again July month came again July month came here in July 1830 again. revolution took place that was the first upheaval pratham vidro that was the first upheaval after the completion of french revolution took place in july 1830 what uh, what was happened here so the bourbon kings you know that uh, after the completion of vienna treaty uh, in 1815 they restored again the bourbon monarchy here so that king overthrown that king had overthrown by the revolutionaries by the revolutionaries now they wanted to establish a new kind of monarchy here that was constitutional monarchy now we need king but he or she will rule according to our constitution according to our constitution so they need new constitutional monarchy and for that purpose they recruited they managed coronation for new king louis philippe what was the name of new king louis philippe so that was their head now louis philippe constitutional head of the france you know that austrian chancellor duke metternich one time said about the the nature of the france people you can see here that is the one mark question here when france finishes when france finishes the rest of the europe catches cold 
जब फ्रांस को छीक आती है तो पूरे यूरोप को जुकाम लग जाती है वैन द फ्रांस द रेस्ट ऑफ द यूरोप कोल्ड नाउ यू कैन सी हियर यू कैन सी हियर द जुलाई रिवोल्यूशन सो दिस इज द वेरी गुड कोटेशन अबाउट द आस्ट्रियन चांसलर डुक मेटरनिच वैन द फ्रांस निदेश जब फ्रांस को छीक आती है द रेस्ट ऑफ द यूरोप के चीज कोल्ड तो रिमेनिंग शेष यूरोप को जुकाम लग जाती है Now, what was the result of that uh, July Revolution? So here, uh, one re result given here. Uprising already took place in France. That is, you know very well. New question monarchy. Now, the last point here. Uh, you know that uh, during 1815, uh, 1815 Vienna Treaty, uh, these Belgium mixed up with the Kingdom of Netherlands, and they manage very new border for the France. now the belgium broke away from the kingdom of netherlands that was the result of july revolution after that you can see here some other things given here now the new topic here according to our blueprint describe the greek war of independence that is given here describe the greek war of independence we know very well about the greece greece or greek so here in hindi we say yunan so the now we here we here read about the how the people of the greece they fight for their independence independent okay so greece had been part of the ottoman empire from the 15th century so since the 15th century greece or yunan part of the ottoman empire i told you many times about the ottoman empire that you know capital here in in turkey area the king of sultan of turkey also known as khalifa that was the ruler of a ottoman empire so greece under control of ottoman empire since the 15th century now the second thing here slowly steadily the information news about the revolutionary activity revolutionary nationalism activity spread all over the greece and that is sparked of tingari jal uthi that is sparked of in a struggle in a war between ottoman empire and the people of the greece so greece people nationalist people of the greece now they ready for fight so greeks people now the greeks people who who were living outside the greece they supported the native people of the greece in money and in weapons so in money and in weapons they supported fully they fully supported to the native people or residents people of the greece after that other people of the europe european countries they also supported the greece independent uh, war independence war so you why why they supported because according to them in literature culture in civilization culture they they considered that uh, greece culture greece culture is the or was the was the cradle of european civilization cradle means here palna jhula you know we we uh, use we use cradle for the our very young child in the beginning of that uh, after he or her birth so for giving rest we use cradle jhula palna so here the poets according to the poets and artist of the european countries they considered greek culture or greece nation is a cradle of the european civilization okay so they mobilize they mobilize for public support they also mobilize for economic support given to the greece nation and they also support against a uh, fight against the muslim empire ottoman empire especially english poet lord byron especially english poet lord byron first of all he funded money for that war and after that uh, 
he also joined the war and in war one time he he his body very fevered so he he died due to fever uh, due to fever in 1824 Uh, Lord Byron died in 1824 due to fever, but their continu continuous their war, their what we say motivation, their support in the last in the finally the Treaty of Constantinople. In Constantinople, we Hindi we say kuch uh, suntuniya. So the agreement in between Ottoman Empire and Greece completed. And in 1832, according to the Treaty of Constantinople, they recognized Ottoman Empire, recognized Greece as an independent nation. Greek, Greece nation, Ottoman Empire recognized Greece nation as an independent nation. So that was the completion of three mast question described the Greek, uh, Greek war or yeah, Greek war of independence. Now listen. our new topic here about the romanticism we only focus on romanticism romanticism look children romanticism in hindi we say romaniwad in hindi we say romaniwad and especially we uh, are only uh, focusing on that uh, romanticism means the feelings come from our heart the feelings come from our heart especially when sometimes we watch some scenario in front of our eyes in front of our eyes sometimes we are watching some scenario as uh, suppose suddenly some accident take place in front of us sometimes some very good news come in front of you in a maybe in a matter or maybe in a some other form so sometimes your heart beat up and down in very happiness also sometime our heart beat up and down and some in, in some sorrow also in, in sadness also so that type of new type of feelings come in our body in our heart that is considered as a romanticism okay so in romanticism uh, the you know nation culture played an important role in romanticism so they think about the new idea artist art poetry poets storyteller stories and some were music also they express and set the manage a new scenario of national feelings so romanticism is also a kind of nationalism okay so now listen here romanticism a a type of cultural moment a type of cultural moment so sort it means we stress new ideas national nationalist sentiments you know sentiments come from our heart our heart come here so they always criticize these romantic artist poets they criticize they always against criticize or against what against science listen carefully they always criticize or against science and reason science and reason because you know some people very very intelligent they they were very intelligent in speaking also very what we say speaker so they always try to uh, bound some other people by giving some reason so these romanticism in romantic poets and artists they always criticize the glorification of reason and science they they wanted to remove the glorification of a, it means the popularity of science and reason science and reason so now think about the their new topic so on what topic they wanted to give focus now listen here they wanted to focus you can see here one photo one image you can see here that is related to romanticism this photo image related to romanticism you can see here this that this image was a scenario of scene of greece war you can see here soldier you can see here one soldier fall down 
somewhere also many soldiers fall down back side you can see here and you know that wife mother and some other soldiers they were weeping crying for their beloved life life partner for their beloved life partner you can see here some what type of scenery here back side you can see here all things buildings destroyed all buildings you can see here down side also storms come clouds nowhere any peaceful scenario you can see here all destructions all type of destructions here some killings also you some, somewhere you can see here how that soldier dying and uh, was dying here so soldiers wife children all are crying here about their life so there is no any future here you can see here that was a very big picture here the massacre narsanghar the massacre at kaus uh, here you gain delicroix at in, in 1824 painted this photo and this image uh, very big painting here you can see here 4.19 meter uh, height and 3.5 me uh, 54 meter width you can see here so that picture indicate us here some feelings from our heart now these romantic poets and artists on which uh, topic they give focus you can see here first emotions you can see emotions in hindi what we say bhavnaye kalpana in hindi we say kalpana bhavna emotions so how we uh, we want to control our emotions also but if we if uh, myself an uh, artist or poet then that uh, change me these emotions change me second thing intuition in hindi we say sahaj sahaj it means when i want i want to see sorry see some scenery scenario maybe road accident maybe any merry ceremony or maybe anything so you know from our heart heart beat change speed change so that is intuition sahaj and third mystical feelings mystical feelings suddenly suddenly a uh, heart beat speed up and sometime speed down so that is mystical flings rasamay bhavnay you can see here savedanay so these three points i repeat again emotions kalpanay intuition sahaj sahaj bodh avabodh avabodh sahaj avabodh and mystical flings rasamay bhavnay these three words are base of romanticism base of romanticism now they also uh, effort they also give effort to create a new sense of collectivity you can see collective heritage so these were our collective heritage samuhik virasat in hindi we say samuhik virasat so that is collective heritage a common cultural past anyone live in that nation state maybe king maybe landlords or maybe common people peasants anything anyone so they have common cultural past their early life very very common the basis that was basis of a nation that was basis of a nation now i completed this topic to ask you sir describe romanticism about his feelings also now you can see here now new word come here that is only one mark uh, according to bulipan there is no any need here so romantics german philosopher johannan got gottfried german philosopher johannan gottfried heard her, you know very well about that uh, that time period given here 1744 and 1803 he also claimed about the german culture how how german culture to collect the german folks local songs poets and other things now that is a very neat person here now new topic come here in box who were the green brothers who were the green brothers and how they establish a german culture against french domination so you can see here first of all about their early life 
so both brothers first of all their name so one brother name jacob jacob grim second one wilhelm grim spelling j a c o b jacob and second wilhelm w i l h e l m grim grim spelling g r i w l m so jacob grim and wilhelm grim both born in the city of Han hanoi hanoi was city in german country hanoi was city in german country and their uh, year also given for birth so jacob born in 1795 jacob born in 1795 and wilhelm grim born in 1786 one year later okay so in beginning they studied about law their it means our indian llb degree for their law degree they completed law degree and in india we say llb and maybe in that country what type of word they use but here written here they study law degree and law study and completed but with that completion they also interested in collecting old folk tales old means prachin folk tale means dehati logite dehati logite so they spent near about 6 years they spent near about 6 year they were traveling from village to village they were traveling from village to village to collect these writings these collections so they they spent 6 years and they also write down about the fairy tales pari kathaen fairy tales also so these fairy tales travel from one generation to other generation these fairy tales travel from one generation to other other generation for the children and for the adults for the children and for the adults so after that the completion of work that completed so in 1812 they published these books from the press in the meantime they also published the 33 volume of the dictionary of german language i repeat my words they published 33 volume of dictionary of german language now the last point here in this question why the grim brothers they focus to collect german cancel german culture now that is the answer given here because one time one part because you know in from 14 july 1789 all country of the europe they focus on france because of the revolution french revolution so suddenly they afraid these people afraid that uh, suddenly uh, steadily the french culture is spread all over the europe so they will control german nation also so before that they give focus on sorry they give focus on to spread german folk tales german culture so here answer given here they considered their project they considered their project of collecting these folk tales and and 33 volume of a dictionary of a german language because of the german language is a part of the wider effort to oppose oppose means virod karna to oppose the french domination they wanted to oppose the french domination and they also wanted to create a german national identity they wanted to create a german national identity so we want to close this uh, topic here so listen here so according to this uh, i completed this my today's uh, episode thank you have a nice day